Hey, what's going on, guys? Kalamazi here, and this video is going to be reviewing cooldowns, uh, a couple new uh, Warcraft log cooldowns, as well as Lorgs based cooldowns for Warlocks in Aberyst the Shadow Crucible. I've been getting a lot of questions about cooldown timings, uh, power infusions for sh with Shadow Priest versus, you know, Holy Priests uh, on Demo Locks, and all the things like that. So, this video will hopefully help review them and also show you guys how to review them on your own for future bosses and tiers and things like that. Now, there's going to be a focus on a lot of demonology here because I played demo and most of the reclearing things, but you can do the same basic, uh, I guess, figuring of cooldowns you'll see in this video with the Lorgs website uh, for Destro and F that you can for demo. So this is all pretty much universal, but uh, yeah, that's that. If you guys would like any weak warriors, add-ons or profiles, like always, links to Twitch and Discord down below. I'll for free for you guys. At the same time, I want to give a huge shout out, like always, to my patrons if we get too far in the video. For the support on Patreon, guys, thank you a million times. Like always, I really appreciate it. If you're looking at supporting on Patreon, should be a link up here as well as down below. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. I will put the notes, I'll put like the CDs that I have in the notepad here, as well as like the Lorgs link and the Warcraft logs. Well, Warcraft logs is Warcraft logs, but links down below if you guys want this stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so everybody knows Warcraft logs. If you don't, uh, Warcraft logs is a website based, or, uh, I guess, on logs for the most part. Uh, damage breakdowns, comparisons, top parses. You can do basically all that here with Warcraft logs. So for Aberus, I'm going to filter by raids. Go to Aberus rankings. This will pull up uh, the top parses for every class in Aberus, right? Now you can filter by warlock, filter by any class, or go for overall parses here. Uh, overall parses are DKs and demo locks and Kazara, amalgamation chamber, all this kind of stuff, right? So. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to filter by Demo Lock here for this because I played mostly Demo and I reclear. But the bigger thing is not necessarily Warcraft logs. It is a uh, great website, all the above. Uh, shout out Kira, who's in my guild. But uh, the bigger thing is going to be Lorgs, Lorgs.io. This website uh, works off of Warcraft logs, from what I understand in things, but shows you individual cooldown timings, uh, power infusion timings, all that kind of stuff for every single, I guess, top log and things on Warcraft logs. So for example, let's say we're looking at Kazara, right? We can go by Demo Lock, uh, Kazara specifically here, filter by Demo Lock, and we can go into here. Now, previously before logs was a thing, it was a really big pain because to find CD timings and logs, for the most part, you had to go in here, uh, find a log, uh, translate if need be, but you had to go in like this person's log, find this person, I believe it was this person here, uh, go to their casts, whenever this works, if it works tonight, we'll figure it out. Uh, go to casts, go to events, you can go to tables as well or timelines to find this stuff here. But you have to filter right here and go to like timestamps and find when they tyrant. They tyranted, you know, on pull 145, 319, when did they portal? When did they do this? When did they do that? When did they demonic strength? Are they holding cooldowns for certain points in a fight? Then at the same time, when did they get power infusion? Go under buffs, go to tables. You can find PI. Okay, they got PI at, you know, 10 seconds in and they got PI at the end here at 317. And then compare them to their cast times for cooldowns. Uh, whether you're playing Demo Destro or Aft, this is a universal thing. You had to sort of dig like this. It was pretty much, it was a pretty big pain, right? Lorix takes all of that complicated stuff out and gives you just straight up cooldown timings. So for example, the highest parse here on Kazara for Demo Locks is going to be 166, basically six, 161, seven. If you go to Lorgs here, filter by any class, any spec, tanks, healers, whatever, let's say Demo Lock. Okay, here's Demo Lock on Kazara. That 166.6, it's right here. The same person right there. Robin, number two, right there, 161.8. The exact same thing, right? You can filter by Kazara, Amalgamation Chamber, Experiments, whatever you want. You can go uh, Demo if you want to go Destro. You can go back to the main page here, hit Destro Lock, and guess what? The exact same thing is here for Destro. They're infernaling on pull. They're infernaling at 304, right? Go to Notharian. Same thing. Every spec is on here for every single cooldown timing uh, for the top parses. So instead of filtering through a million different parses like on Warcraft Logs, which is still a great tool for like specific things, Still an awesome tool. Uh, Lorgs gives, gives you the option of looking through basically every log compiled and their own individual cooldowns. Now, if you want to see names of the person, you can just uh, mouse over it. They all appear. There you go. Uh, this is actually me. Oh, look at that. How exciting. Uh, didn't expect that, actually. <laughs> that wasn't a shameless plug. Uh, but either way, so for example, uh, this build here is going to be the Nether Portal um, single target Vialfiend build of Demonology. If you don't want to see Vialfiend, turn it off. If you want to see Vile Fiend, leave it on. If you want to see Demonic Strength timing, hit Demonic Strength. If all you want to see is like Tyrant, you can turn off Vile Fiend, turn off Grimoire, 
and there's tyrant stuff there's tyrant there's portal if we turn that off now to a similar extent the big thing here with a lot of demo questions this patch is power infusion right and for the most part if you're playing single target build you're going to buy off fiend with every tyrant and one one between them no big deal so i'll leave it off for the most part but the big things going to be tyrant nether portal and power infusion as well as trinkets at times right but you can filter on and off the big thing here healer power infusions versus shadow priest power infusions if you're getting pi from a healer you're going to get pi basically every three minutes with uh pi being on pole here and pi being three minutes later with nether portal when the fight ends for kazara here right now this changes fight duration will dictate cooldowns a crazy amount right this is the notepad i have for cds as we can reclear um if it is a three and a half minute fight 340 350 like this right you're going to go if you're a healer if you're if your pi person's a healer as a demo lock you'll pi on pole you get pi out again at 320 ish with portal the fight dies 340 hey awesome you killed the fight if you're getting it from a shadow priest on a fight like Kazara, honestly, it's just not very good because Shadow's not going to hold their cooldowns for the three minute mark for you. They're going to give it to you at two. Now, if it's a fight, uh, for example, say like, uh, like uh, I guess like Rashok that lasts like 555 to 620, right? You can pull that up here. Things change a bit. So Shadow PIs on a fight like Rashok, right? They are going to basically give it to you zero two four and six there's some variance here because we're shocked a bit of an odd fight uh, with timings and things but uh, probably not even a great example either way but there's a parse here um like that right that goes zero two four and six and this is a shadow priest pi they're giving you a pi whenever they're popping cooldowns right so you're working around their cooldowns if you're playing a shadow if you're playing a demo lock and shadows your pi giver whatever you're gonna hold your tyrant for two minutes and you're going to hold Tyrant and Portal for four minutes. And then if, if the fight goes long enough for six, you'll have Tyrant again at six, right? Now, if the fight is shorter, once again, sub four minutes where you can't get, you know, second Portal with third PI being at the four minute mark, like Kazara, uh, you can do whatever you want. But Shadow PI is not very good there, which is why a lot of these top parses, whether you see it, you know, a three and a half minute fight or a five and a half minute fight, uh, the best PI version you can get is from a healer. That goes, you know, zero three six, or you know, in certain cases like Rashok, uh, zero three five. But either way, getting it with basically every Nether portal versus you know having to hold cooldowns a bit longer as Shadow Priest, right? Now, the cool thing here, once again, uh, just summarizing Lorgs, whether you're looking for like you know uh, individual people's or persons like parses or whatever for their cooldown allocation, or just overall, if you're looking for a general blanket, where do I want a CD? on Kazara or on Amalgamation Chamber or on, you know, Forgotten Experiments, whatever, what have you. All you have to do, pull up Demo Locks or whatever spec you're playing and go from there. Uh, a great example here, Forgotten Experiments. So there's some variance here, right? The highest parks being 168.3K, uh, second highest being 160, I believe. So most guilds end up lusting about 130 into this fight, which means you hold all your cooldowns. They hold power infusion till 130. But some guilds now, are lusting on pull some guilds aren't still but you can see some guilds are lusting on pull i don't believe this is even a lust on pull kill i think they just full ripped on pull but some guilds are lusting on pull so there is some bearing into logs but to see that in warcraft logs you have to go dig through individual parses and look all right you know uh for example we can pull it up here with uh forgotten experiments you can pull up the top log here see if it lusted on pull or not uh this is a very fast kill 358 is exceptionally fast for experiments they lusted on pull right the second parse here did not list on pole so you can do it individually on warcraft logs or go to lorgs and just say hey he cd'd on pole uh chances are high they probably lusted on pole too and there likely is even a less tracker on here there is actually there you go There's a less button up here as well so you can see less is changing but this gives you a huge just general blanket view of all the top parts it goes down to 50 right and for the most part you can base your own cds and cd allocation off of these parses right um so it's a great tool all the above if you're confused about shadow timings or i guess pi timings shadow versus you know holy priest or just in general lorgs is a great way to go in and see individual timings now very briefly i can give a breakdown of demonology this week but i did um, i have this document here as well these kill times are based off my own guild um once again if your guild's progging on a boss it'll be probably longer than 335 for a kazara kill to a similar extent amalgamation chamber and things probably longer but um so kazara right this is actually my parse right about here i think somewhere yeah here's my parse from this week so we know it's gonna be a shortish kill 340 roughly so we get portal power infusion tyrant all that on pull uh 
We Tyrant without PI here at 147. Because if you ask, if you say, hey, my Holy Priest, which was giving me PI here, PI me at two, you're not going to get another PI until four, the boss dies 340. So, and optimally, if given the option of getting a healer PI or a shadow PI, you want the healer PI. That is the highest overall output for a demo lock. It's getting a healer PI at, you know, uh, 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, so on and so forth. Uh, fight duration will indeed again change that depending on when the boss dies. But yeah, so for example, on Kazara, we PI portal everything on pole here, Tyrant on cooldown and call for PI at about 310 with portal and Tyrant and the boss dies at 342, giving us a pretty good kill. This could have been a really high parse actually, but we got, we had a rift drop in our third portal setup. So I mean, it was a ranked 18, probably could have been a lot higher, but is what it is. But once again, fight duration being 335 to 355, uh, you can't really plan on getting, you know, three PIs, right? Uh, to a similar extent, Amalgamation Chamber, uh, also over here, it's gonna be annoying doing this. Uh, about a 355 to 410 uh, kill roughly. R is a bit longer this week, but either way, a lot of these kills, once again, to a similar extent, uh, Nether Portal, Power Infusion, Tyrant on Pull, Tyranting on cooldown here. And then again, getting Healer PI at about 310, Portal, PI, Tyrant, all the above, juice it up with Big Pit Lord, and the fight dies 350, 4, 410, roughly right around there. If you scroll down more, there are some healer or shadow priest PI sprinkled in here, uh, right about here, giving it to you after tyrant, uh, one about here. But as you can see, I mean, healer PI is indeed the best option when it comes to, you know, uh, well, PI. So forgotten experiments, uh, once again, being an odd one. And again, this is why Lorgs is so awesome. It shows you the top 50 breakdowns of most fights. All right. They're holding lust or they're, they're not holding lust. And this is how they're act or how they're, uh, how they're CDing based around less being held or not, right? Forgotten experience being about a 410 to 450 kill. Uh, so the plan here with our kill was, to, you know, uh, big CD everything at about 110, which is what everyone's doing here with PI, Lust, Portal, all that. Tyrant on cooldown, no portal. Uh, no portal here, obviously, no PI or anything. Popping Brim War in every cooldown here. Put that up just to show. And once again, getting huge PI value at the end with portal with lust all the above and for those wondering why they're not portaling here they are it's just hidden behind felguard stuff so uh every tyrant has a felguard in it but it's just hidden behind the logo right so on top of that uh zakali assault same thing planning on about a 340 to 415 kill um this fight gets a little finicky if it's like 440 ish you can indeed theoretically have like some value from shadow priest pi going like zero two four but at the same time, it, there's some longer fights being six minutes long, being uh, four, being 350, being 322, right? So like the safe plan here is to go big cities on pole, Tyrant on cooldown, Tyrant again with PI and everything at the end with, you know, the boss being burnt down. Uh, Rashok is an odd one. So when it comes to Rashok, this is where Lorgs is actually a really good tool because there are a lot of varying cooldown timings on this fight, right? Now, Rashok is, I think, a 632 or something like that in Rage, roughly right around there. 630 being a longer kill here. Uh, 637 being a kill here as well. But the shorter kills are like five, I don't know, five, what is it, like 54, six, 553, uh, right around here. Like, they're shaving some time off this boss with, you know, reclears and people having more gear and farming and all that stuff, right? And cooldown timings vary a crazy amount on Rashok, depending how long the fight goes. If it's a 630 kill, you can sort of maybe get a bit of value out of a third portal, right? With, you know, one here, one here, and one here. Um, if, if it's like a 555 kill, you're not getting a third another portal, right? So in our reclear this week, what I was planning on doing, I think I have a couple of different CD timings here, actually. Um, so... I was planning on like a 555 to like 620 ish kill and 620 is a bit scary because like you're not going to get full value out of portal and pit lord because like pit lord will spawn if you portal at like basically uh six or five, five, 558 right here right if they're getting three in the like the, the portal will close and pit lord will spawn if it's like a 610 kill you're not getting like max value out of that portal and pit lord right so there's that i was planning on being probably around a 555 to six 10 20 ish kill ended up being a very long one but either way so the plan was to pull like on pull pi nether portal all that stuff right about 145 raw tyrant no pi nothing else then 320 we would call for pi again turn us on this is not my log here but uh, either way call for pi again about 320 roughly give or take and then you're tyranting at 320 and then once again you're tyranting right about here with portal at 520 uh, with PI, Portal, 
tyrant all with potion as well and that's big because you have potion like you had on pull again which gives even more value and on top of that you can also see trinkets and usage in this fight right so to a similar extent you're not portaling at three you're also not trinketing at three you're going to trinket basically on pull and right here we can hide these extra buffs here and see that you have trinket God, there's so many uh, <laughs> there's so many things here but you're, you're trinketing basically on pull and once again at the 520 ish mark trinket potion pi nether portal tyrant all that big juice in this one final burn window here for just an insane burst of damage right but once again if the fight is 630 you can sort of account for three portals going trinket here 15 317 and basically at the end here getting some value with your portal um at the same time shadow priest pi also changes just a bit on this fight right if it if it's a shorter fight you can go zero two four uh realistically you see some even going like zero two five but uh zero two four let's see let's see if there's one even here actually uh there is not for the most part but i have seen some going basically tyrant at zero tyrant at two tyrant at four and get it with pi and portal and everything at four uh and then getting some value at the end here but once again tldr healer pi is indeed the best for a handful of reasons being able to control when you get pi with portal not holding tyrant not holding uh portal or anything being able to go to zero pi three pi and typically six if the fight goes long enough but uh this is a great reason again as to why lorgs and seeing all these individual like timings of cooldowns is so valuable because fight duration varies and this tier with emo being so finicky with clash trinket and pi timings and nether portal being all your damage right it, it's so important to have like know a general fight duration for your kill even like your prog kill and base your cooldowns around that because if you kill a fight let's say for example i don't know at like 335 like kazara or 345 right that's a pretty good demo kill time 350 great roughly 345 portal ends tyrant ends the boss dies if you kill it at 450 or 5 that's pretty bad because your cooldowns are coming off cd right at that point so tldr uh lorgs is a very important tool now to a similar extent i have cds here for the scarn magmarax echo uh and even sarkareth right very briefly the scarn's a mess um their cds if you want them they go basically do some pull timer on cooldown and they wait to four uh, where they portal again here with everything in pi it's a mess with dragon heads overlapping um yeah just you can sort of do this if you want <laughs> either way uh tldr just hope this boss dies uh magmarax interesting as well so magmarax is also an odd one because the fight dies at about 5 30 if you hit in rage right so you're big cding on pull your tire thing here with no pi value really the tyrant ends about when you get pi here uh and then you're going once again turn on portal here as well um so for like a 523 kill i believe which is what this one is roughly let me make sure this is right i think it's like a 523 kill roughly um let me see mm. yeah 522 roughly so for this you can just squeeze in another portal with a radius fragment and power infusion so it's literally a big juice on pull all the above tyrant on cooldown here he's getting pi here i just assume because he's assigned a healer and just saying hey don't worry about giving it to somebody else just give it to me whatever rip it it's not a very good pi but it is what it is uh tyrant again here once again holding nether portal for that five minute mark because you get potion back and with a five minute boss kill or 530 boss kill whether you have nether portal you know at three 318 330 or 505 you're only getting two portals because you need a six minute at a bare minimum to be able to cast three portals realistically you need like 620 to get any kind of value out of third portal right so it doesn't matter if you portal at three or five but at five you get a potion which is huge as well because you're pairing potion with fragment with portal with tyrant with everything and that's huge value right but once again a fight that might be a little shorter maybe like a 514 kill uh that's pretty risky so he just full-on says once again tyrant on pull tyrant without any pi here pi me at three and i'm gonna portal and fragment here and he tyrants at five here just it is what it is the fight dies at 514 and if you can potion there at the end uh, which i believe they do at the very end here yeah for a little bit great actually they, they actually don't even hear the fight dies so fast if you can great if not it is what it is and that's just that this is a random pi i don't know if it's even is this is not a healer pi because it's just like just thrown randomly um 
So there's that. And at the same time, uh, fights like this, you can even look all the way down to potion timings, which it's important to bring up here on a fight like Magma Rax, some dying at like 514. Some players are potting on pull. They're not even potting at like, you know, 10 or 11 with Tyrant. They're potting on pull so they can pot early again here before the fight dies getting full value. So this site breaks down so many individual cooldowns and gives you a great idea of when you want to CD, why you want to CD, how you want to, and all of the above. Uh, to, to make this video a bit shorter, I'm not going to ramble about Echo and things um, too much, but like Echo is to a similar extent, uh, a bit awkward with timings in this fight because uh, some don't even tyrant here. The boss is low and shielded or not. You tyrant on pull, uh, raw tyrant here, healer PI at 330 roughly. This is before you move through the middle of the room with gateway. Right here on, on our kill this week, I, did, I didn't even tyrant here um, because the boss is shielded, the ad is dying. And if you don't tyrant here, there are logs to do both, right? But if you don't tyrant here, you can build more clash trinket stacks too for the huge bloodlust power infusion potion all the above uh nether portal right here which once again is a huge stack value when you do 90 percent of your damage in a very small window uh stacking multiple effects like that's very big if you filter by boss damage here going over here the top parse is a good bit of them no fourth tyrant here no tyrant no tyrant no tyrant some do some don't but it's very very tight and depending where you lust here you want to make sure you have full portal coverage with bloodlust and things if you're late on this tyrant it makes it a little sketchy so it's sort of a yolo call it when you can kind of thing but either way uh once again without going into a million different logs on workout logs it might be a bit hard to see that but lorgs breaks it all down and sarkareth is pretty straightforward um once again i'll have cds for all the stuff in this notepad wherever i put it in the description but soccer that's easy you cd on pole you come up and downstairs uh you tyrant with pi you tyrant with pi and portal and everything going into phase three at the end of the fight i talked about this in my soccer with kill video too at the end of the fight for the most part uh the, the fight dies so fast now you can barely even cast the portal uh, but you won't have time you get pi at the end here coming back up in the final down go but you won't have time to hold portal most of the time for tyrant unless the fight goes long um so typically it is natty tyrant here and just portal whenever you can but um i guess depending on the fight and how long your guild is taking uh some guilds can some guilds can so thanks for watching guys that wraps it up hopefully it clarified some questions you all might have had about cooldowns with demonology at the same time destro and af are the same way if you want to filter by infernals and dark layers and stuff but demo is the finicky one honestly right now with everything uh, and all that heading into, I guess, 10.15, but hopefully later prog for you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions about where do you CD? Why do you CD? Uh, where do you CD with a like, healer PI versus shadow PI? So hopefully it helps y'all out. Uh, links to lores and Warcraft logs and the notepad of like, I guess, timings down below. Once again, the notepad is my own in guild's like individual uh, estimated boss kill times. It could vary for yours a lot. But once again, uh, even if you're progging the boss and I have a longer estimated kill duration, Chances are high, Lorgs has a longer duration kill as well, you can look at. So there's that. But um, yeah, hopefully it helped out. So, like always, Weak Wars add ons now, uh, down below, Twitch and Discord links if you want them. They're all in there for free for you guys. Uh, to a similar extent, I want to give a huge shout out again to my patrons who are in the video for all support on Patreon, guys. Like usual, thank you a million times. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're looking at supporting on Patreon, should be a link up here as well as down below in the video description. So, um, it's been a few a slow couple weeks for i guess warlock and wow in general but we are less than a week and a half away from 10.15 launching as well and like while demo is changing a little bit it's not really losing any ground anywhere uh dash was getting better with two minute infernal and after getting better quality life wise so i'd say keep an eye out for uh warlock to be rising a bit more maybe in 10.15 but uh yeah if you're concerned about cooldowns once again lorg is a great place to go at the same time if you have any questions you can always come by stream and ask and i'm uh happy to help and or point you to lorgs and things like that so all this being said thanks for watching guys if you like the video hit the like and subscribe button below helps out a ton and i'll catch you all again soon on stream peace